Hey there, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. We are still working on, I am still working on this East Lake chair. I'm going to cover it today and uh, so I want to show you how I do that. This is part two of three videos so you want to be sure and check out part one and then be sure and stay tuned for part three when we do the gimp braid and the finishing on this. Anyway, uh, be sure you like and subscribe and share me with your friends. So don't go away. All right, I got the center back marked. I've got the center of my fabric marked. And uh, my gun is loaded. Oh, this gun, my staple gun. It's electric. It's an Aero Electric. And I have a new one that hooks to an air compressor. But uh, I'm not down with working in the garage today because it's a little warm out there. So I'm just going to stay right in here and do this. So I've lined my pin up with that little mark. And get my finger out of the way. My cat does not like the sound of the stapler. And this will have a piece of braid over to finish it. And that'll also help to hold some of the fabric down and Finish off the edge. And I'm not doing this all the way to the ends, to these corners yet, because I need to do the front before I finish that off. So I've done, there's my halfway mark, a couple of inches to each side, maybe three and a half, four inches to each side. Now I'm going to go to the front, turn the chair around. All right, I've got my, this is the center front, and here's my pin for the center, and I'm going to just kind of ease this fabric on down around this edge. Peek and see, this is where I want to staple, is right in this little space right here, right there. So got that pretty much lined up, got that rolled over the edge, and then I can, again, I can always go back. If I don't get it tight enough, I can go back, take those little staples out, and readjust this. All right, so there's my center right there. There's my mark right there. All right, smooth this on down, and then make sure where I want this staple to go, there's the edge of my uh, woodwork, or the main part of the chair, so come up just a tiny bit, still staying in that wood, right there we are. Smooth it on down, give it a little tug. Same thing, feel where that ridge is. Do the same thing on this side. I didn't put a ton of staples across the front, so after I do the sides, this is just kind of a good starting spot. I'm going to do the sides, and then I'll come back and see if any of these need to be tightened up or changed in position before I do a long row of staples. I got these scissors uh, the other day at Walmart, and I think there were two in the package, and they weren't very expensive, but they are nice and sharp. They're just a Westcott, and I I think they were like under eight dollars but anyway so this corner that I have right here I'm gonna cut this at like a 45 or whatever that angle is it's not really a 45 but I'm gonna cut into this little corner piece in the chair itself so I'm going to show you that and also I'm going to cut like here is this thick part of this arm right here and I'm going to cut about halfway into that. So I'm just going to cut straight into that little section. And then just kind of a little jag. I'm not going to jag too far because I don't, this fabric is really ravelly. And if I need to come back and cut some more, I can. I think that'll be about right. And if I need to clip in just a little bit more in that little area, I will. And so this little corner right here. And I'm at the wrong angle really for doing this. Let me turn it just a tad. I'm going to be in the way for a minute. So I'm eyeballing cutting into that little corner back there, but I don't want to get too, too close. It's kind of like Goldilocks, just close enough, not too close, not too far, just good enough. Still got enough room to turn that 
pull that sideways and turn that under and turn this under. All right. So I'm going to catch this first. I'm going to fold that under just a little bit. Smooth this across. Make sure my thumb is out of the way. Catch that. Ease this on down. Roll that down. And I am above for this uh, this line right here. Now I need to turn this one under. Actually, I'm going to do the back side first. Turn it one more time. I'm going to trim this piece off, this excess. This little stapler has a safety on it, and so until you mash that little safety thing in, it's not going to fire. Now bring this back around. Alright, that does need just a tiny little bit of a nip. And you'll just have to kind of play with that to see where you need to do that. So, bring this across. Got to make sure my end is tucked under there. Sorry if my hand is in the way. Smooth, just smooth. Okay, now I want to work this to the front. I'm going to ease that around the edge. Do that corner. I want to make a corner right here. Now my other video has about making a rounded edges on a chair, but this one, and I need to cut out this extra, because I could feel that whenever I was getting ready to staple or getting ready just to hold it down, I could tell that that was going to be a, a thick spot right there. I think this is pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and round that on. There are, there's two things right here. One, there's a little square right here, and it juts in just a little bit, so I want to make sure i got a staple here, and one at where it starts to curve back out. Are these going to be good? I think these are going to be good. Stretch that down just a little bit. All right. So there's that, and I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Next step, let's trim this excess. So I don't want to get up too high, and I don't want to get too low. There's my little wood, wood edge. I'll just rest my scissors right against that edge. I'm 
And if I got my staples in the right place, so then whenever I come back and put my gimp braid on here, that will cover the staples and come right to the edge. So I do that all the way around, and then we will move on. I have a piece, piece of one inch foam and I have bevel cut it uh, using my little electric knife and like that. So, uh, and my fabric, I kind of lined my pattern up. This is such a wavy line to line up, but there's like sort of kind of a straight line right there. So I'm going to sort of kind of line that straight line right up right there. So I'm going to line the fabric up first. If you had a pattern, you'd want to do that first. Take this out. I'm going to staple this bottom, trim the edges, not this side, and uh, line this up and then staple this and then put that foam in. This is all stapled across here. So lift this up, put my foam in place. Now I've got these braces that I put in here because of not putting the webbing in the back of this and I probably could have done that but uh, since I'd already decided to do plywood in other spots, this works. I've got my foam in here, and then I'm going to just smooth this, trying to keep this line pretty straight. This is the line here, pretty straight. They're wonky lines anyway. And here is my here is my edge, right here. So that's where I'm going to want to staple, smooth that. I'm not going to worry about trimming off the excess fabric just yet. And I know that I am in the camera, and I apologize about that, but... And I'm just smoothing and then pulling, not stretching it really. There's my edge. I'm still a little close to the edge. What I'll do is come back and put a second row. I've got wood to right here, and I'll put a second row of staples and then pull these out. So I'm going to go ahead and staple across, smooth this, and staple the sides, and then trim the excess. When I staple these sides, I like to come from the inside with my staple gun. I have to watch so that I don't staple in, try to staple into those braces. Get as close as I can. I've got it trimmed. I need to clean up some of these little hairy fibers back here. But I'm going to do the same process on the back side of this top, except that I'm going to use Dacron. I'm not going to use a piece of foam. I'm just going to use a piece of Dacron to be flat and to have just a little bit of padding to it.